the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Welcome to St John's Church, Princes Street in Edinburgh and in my home. My name is Jeanette and I am a member of this congregation. Today we remember two of the pioneers of ministry to the deaf in the Anglican Communion. Thomas Galladay and his protege, Henry Winter Sile. Without Galladay's genius and zeal for the spiritual well-being of deaf persons, it is improbable that a history of ministry to the deaf, not only in the Episcopal Church in the USA, could be written. He has been called the Apostle to the Deaf. Galaude was born on June the 3rd, 1822, in Hartford, Connecticut. He was the eldest son of Thomas Hopkins Galaude, founder of the West Hartford School for the Deaf, and his wife Sophia, who was deaf. After graduating from Trinity College in Hartford, Thomas announced his desire to become a priest in the Episcopal Church. His father, who was a Congregationalist minister, prevailed upon him to postpone a final decision and to accept a teaching position in New York, in the New York Institution for Deaf Mutes. There he met and married a deaf woman named Elizabeth Budd. Thomas Gallaudet was ordained as a deacon in 1850 and served his diaconate at St. Stephen's Church, where he established a Bible class for deaf persons. Ordained as priest in 1851, he became assistant rector at St. Anne's Church, where he conceived a plan for establishing a church that would be a spiritual home for deaf people. This became a reality the following year with the founding of St. Anne's for deaf mutes. The congregation was able to purchase a church building in 1859 and it became a centre for missionary work to the deaf, continuing in, into its merger with the parish of Calvary St George's a hundred years later in 1976. As a result of this ministry, mission congregations were established in many cities Galote died on August the 27th, 1902. One beneficiary of his ministry was Henry Winter Style. Born in China, he had lost his hearing as a young child um, as the result of scarlet fever. Educated at Trinity College, Hartford, St. John's College, Cambridge, and Yale University, Styles was a brilliant student who persisted in his determination to obtain an education in spite of his deafness and fragile health. He was encouraged by Galode to offer himself for ordination as a priest and was supported in that call by Bishop William Bacon Stevens of Pennsylvania despite the opposition of many who believed that the impairment of one of the senses was an impediment to ordination. Sire was ordained as a deacon in 1876, the first deaf person to be ordained in the Episcopal Church, and later ordained as a priest in 1883. In 1888, he built All Souls Church for the Deaf, in Philadelphia, the first Episcopal church constructed especially for deaf persons. He died on January the 6th, 1890. Let us now worship God with words from Psalm 119. Happy are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the land. Happy are they who observe his degrees, 
and seek him with all their hearts, who never do any wrong, but always walk in his ways. You laid down your commandments that we should fully keep them. Oh, that my ways be made so direct that I may keep your statutes. Then I should not be put to shame when I regard all your commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The first reading is from Isaiah. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it. The majesty of Carmel and Sharon, they shall see the glory of the Lord the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp, the grass shall become reeds and rushes. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. An anthem from a song of Ezekiel. I will take you from among all nations and gather you from all lands to bring you home. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and purify you from false gods and uncleanness. A new heart I will give you and a new spirit put within you. I will take the stone from your chest and give you a heart of flesh. I will help you walk in my laws and cherish my commandments and do them. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The second reading is from Mark. They brought to Jesus a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to lay his hands on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said, Epphatha, that is, be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one. But the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, he has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God of Father, with God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. 
Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Let us, in response to the word of God, ask our Creator to forgive us those times in our lives when we ignored or rejected God's love. When we brought pain upon our neighbours and ourselves. And when we violated creation. It is written, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. May God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, forgive our sins, restore us to wholeness of life, and reveal God's abundant love for each and every one of us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. On Fridays, we focus our prayers on healing, the healing of bodies, souls and minds, the healing of society and creation, and the healing of our relationships with God and one another. Let us pray. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Christi eleison, Christ have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy upon us. We pray for all those hurting in body, mind, or soul. God our healer, whose mercy is like a refining fire, by the loving kindness of Jesus, heal us and those for whom we pray. That being renewed by you, we may witness your wholeness to our broken world. Through Jesus Christ, in the power of the Spirit. Amen. We pray for all those suffering under any impression, oppression of any kind throughout the world. Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land who live with injustice, terror, disease and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these, our neighbours. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law 
and equal opportunities for all. And grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for the abused and wounded creation. Bountiful God, you call us to labour with you in tending the earth. Where we lack love, open our hearts to the world. Where we waste, give us discipline to conserve. Where we neglect, awaken our minds and wills to insight and care. May we, with all your creatures, honour and serve you in all things. For you live and reign with Christ Jesus, Redeemer of all, and with your Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, uniting all our prayers into one, we pray as our Lord Jesus Christ taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Pour your grace into our hearts, O Lord, that we who have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, announced by the angel to the Virgin Mary, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>